hi everyone i hope you guys are doing well uh, i'm making this video because of someone asked me uh this question uh i quote i'm struggling to understand that when doing summary must i quote from the case or to come up with my own understanding will it change the case altogether ne? so guys i will be explaining that part and please guys keep subscribing and thank you summary of the facts okay guys when you're writing this part man, you cannot use your own understanding because of if you try to use your own understanding you might move away from the question and then end up giving irrelevant answers ne? so guys uh here is how to write it or how to get the facts straight ne? or how to write relevant uh facts ne? so guys go back to that case ne? there's a part whereby uh, it has a subtitle written background so on that part guys read it ne? while reading it try to take important facts that led to the dispute important facts that led to the dispute so those important facts as i said on the first um uh, video is going to indicate if the case is a civil case or a criminal case and it's going to show relevant evidence and argument presented in the court to explain who did what to whom and why the case was thought to involve legal conduct yeah. so you can even add with what happened in the court so guys that's how you can uh, write solid facts legal question so guys this partner i'm just making it because of um, i saw someone stating that he has seen 19 legal questions there yeah? so guys uh 19 i is too much it is too much so i thought maybe it would be best if i touch this part a little bit there yeah? so as i have said uh on the previous video that uh a legal question is an issue regarding the application or interpretation of law ne? so guys if you go back to that case ne? you're going to find uh, a subtitle written issue ne? so on that part is that part where you're going to find a legal question as the study guide have uh, stated that legal questions do have question mark so check for anything that ends with a question mark that's where you're going to find a legal question under the part of issue ne? so this one is very simple guys it's very 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 simple no one deserves to fail this one or get a uh, dash the finding or judgment guys the finding or judgment is the conclusion of the court here you explain how the case was decided so it's going to be simple guys you just look how the case was decided by the court and then you just write that just write that if they find if they find the plaintiff guilt the i'm going to say the defendant guilty uh they're going to stay find the defendant guilty if not guilty which means that the case was dismissed or like you're going to find it there well um but i do believe is the last part is the last part uh but check first guys check check and then uh what i would like to highlight ne, is that guys you cannot just write the whole thing without um uh, referencing this there is a reference style that is been like you should you guys i mean to say you guys should use ne? the last time when i was doing this module we were using footnote reference so i believe that you guys should also use it i don't know but check in with your lecture or check on the children letters but the last time when i was doing this module we were using a footnote reference because of if you fail to do so if you fail to reference guys you're going to get zero that means all your work is going to go to drain because if it does not if it does not have a reference and then guys i encourage you to download uh previous memorandums ne? uh if you go to telegram ne? 
I do believe that it's under file or media where you can find documents in it. Uh, search for, you can just say to send letter uh, 201. Those are memorandums or you can just search 201. Those letters, those tuition letters are going to appear. And then check how the previous questions were being answered and then uh, the referencing style the bio how was the biography the biography written so that thing i do believe that those memorandums are going to help you guys more when it comes to referencing ne? uh all the best guys that that will be all from me today